Today, she's one of the entertainment industry's essential figures. And over the years, she's been a stand-up comedian, a sitcom star, a talk show host, a gay rights advocate, and of course, an adorably forgetful talking fish. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and this is the groundbreaking story of Ellen. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The word is degenerous. Degenerous? Can you use it in a sentence, please? I like Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres was born in Metairie, Louisiana, and spent her early years in the state growing up with a pretty typical childhood. There I am. Uh, by myself in a crib, nobody <laughs> holding me, but that's okay. She had working class parents who divorced when she was a teen, and she worked a number of odd jobs over the years that eventually contributed to her sense of humor. Her youthful dream was to become a veterinarian, and comedy wasn't on her radar until she made some jokes to ease her nerves when she had to do some public speaking. My parents were uh, obsessed with celebrities, and uh, so hi, here I am. Um... <laughs> The crowd loved it, and afterwards, she began getting suggestions that she try her hand at stand-up comedy. Her comedy career kicked off in 1981, and Ellen's mom supported her financially before things started to really pick up. She performed locally in venues around the country until she got her big break in 1986 on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. A lot of people ask me, were you funny as a child, and uh, no, I was an accountant. But, um... She holds the honor of being the first female comedian to be asked to sit on Carson's couch during her first appearance. But at the time, that was the fashion, but I can't even say that was ever the fashion. I, I, I don't know. Sin, Sinbad used to help me pick clothes out. <laughs> After that, her career took off. By 1989, she was being cast in network TV shows, and then in 1994, she starred in a sitcom named After Her. What do you think, should I smile or not smile? Ellen, the TV series, was about a bookstore employee named Ellen Morgan, played by DeGeneres, of course. The show was a hit, lasting for five seasons. Most notably, though, Ellen featured one of the very first major characters to come out on American TV. Has there ever been anyone you felt you clicked with? And what was his name? Susan. <laughs> in the fourth season, which aired in 1997, Ellen, the fictional character, came out in the puppy episode, which has become a landmark of progression in the gay rights movement. Susan, I'm gay. <laughs> The move was a shocking one for many, and ABC even decided to put a parental advisory in front of each episode from there on out, which may seem unbelievable today. The show even lost advertisers because of this. Of course, Ellen stood by her decision and in years later said, quote, it was a huge step in my life. I think people sensed the honesty in it. I think it helped a lot of people. And still to this day, I hear about parents and children being able to have an honest conversation through watching that show. That's ultimately what television can be. It can get conversations started. Well, you were the bravest woman ever. I'm happy that I, uh, I found that in me. Thank you. Ellen's character coming out of the closet was certainly a case of art imitating life. In what was a clearly well thought out move, DeGeneres had officially come out in a very public way on the cover of Time magazine, with the headline that read, Yep, I'm gay, two weeks before the puppy episode aired. On the very same day that the episode was released, Ellen sat down with Oprah to talk about her sexuality and the parallels with her character. Then they asked me to move out of the house. Mm -hmm. And um, so because? Uh, she had two little girls that they worried that it would influence them. Mm -hmm. In an interview with Diane Sawyer, DeGeneres said, quote, I decided this was not going to be something that I was going to live the rest of my life being ashamed of. What followed was dogged media coverage, which proved to be emotionally damaging for DeGeneres. And I should know I'm not just a spokesperson, I'm a gay. <laughs> Side effects may include loss of family, loss of friends, unemployment. Her personal life became public, and her relationship with fellow actress Anne Heche was heavily scrutinized throughout its duration. And that's where Ellen DeGeneres and Anne Heche live. We're lesbians! 
friends! Heche and DeGeneres parted ways in 2000, and four years later, Ellen started a relationship with another actress, Portia de Rossi. After Proposition 22 was overturned in California, which had put a ban on same-sex relationships in May of 2008, DeGeneres and de Rossi announced their intention to be married, and their wedding took place just a few months later, in August of the same year. Soon after, with the passage of Proposition 8, the legality of Ellen's marriage was under threat, and she used her platform to advocate for voting against the bill, though unfortunately it passed anyway. And it would be the first time in history that they would change the state constitution and take rights away. Over the years, Ellen did a lot of advocacy work on behalf of the LGBTQ community, and her audience only grew when she started her much-loved talk show in 2003, which is still going strong so many years later. Every single thing I'm saying is, uh, is on the cue card. For instance, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is so dry. Let me um, show you right here. Uh, we have... Um... The show has received an incredible 166 daytime Emmy nominations, along with many other accolades as of 2019. It's given Ellen the chance to interview people from all walks of life, from everyday people to presidents of the United States. You gotta really want that job bad, because that's that's a lot of work, and then you get there, and it's just it, tons of pressure, but... It, it's, it's, it's like being the host of Ellen. Uh, almost. It's, just, it's almost that kind of yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah. It's... Yeah. I mean... How do you handle it? I don't know. <laughs> With changes in the way people consume entertainment, The Ellen DeGeneres Show has adapted, offering all of their major clips on their YouTube channel and becoming one of the YouTube channels with the most subscriptions. In the same year that her talk show premiered, Ellen had another major role, voicing Dory in the Pixar flick Finding Nemo. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. The director of the film said that he knew DeGeneres was the right fit for the role because she, quote, changed the subject five times before one sentence had finished on her show. He hears in the background on the TV this rambling person who starts a subject but then goes way, way off mm -hmm. and never comes back to it, <laughs> which is what I used to do on my sitcom and what I used to do in comedy. And he's like, that's Dory. Sounds about right. The character was so popular that she became the focus of a follow-up film released more than a decade later called Finding Dory. Dory? Yes. Dory? Yes. Dory? Yes. <gasps> Dory! Yes. You and I were friends! No. In 2016, President Barack Obama awarded her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is considered to be one of the highest awards that a civilian can receive in the United States. How many times have I shown you the front door? It's down the hall, past the Medal of Freedom, past the Emmys, past the People's Choice Awards, past the Kids' Choice Awards, the Teen Choice Awards, the Mark Twain Prize, the Peabody. Take a left at the gift shop and that is the front door. Of course, Ellen is no simple civilian, and she has a number of major entertainment awards under her belt as well, including 30 Emmys and a record-breaking 20 People's Choice Awards. 17, I get it. 18, sure. 19, I can see that, but 20 is outrageous. Not only that, but she's acted as the host of some of the biggest award shows around, including the Academy Awards, Grammy Awards, and the Primetime Emmys. Hey. <laughs> Anybody celebrating anything? Any birthdays or <laughs> cat lovers? How about the cats and dogs are different, aren't they? Yeah. She was the first openly gay host of the Oscars, which marks another major threshold that Ellen helped to break through. In May of 2019, DeGeneres made some very personal revelations when speaking with David Letterman on his Netflix show, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. She'd previously mentioned being sexually assaulted in an Allure interview from 2005, but she went into more detail here. Yeah, she remarried a very bad man. Very bad man. And th this is the man that hurt you? Yeah. During the interview, she spoke about her relationship with her mother and stepfather, describing how her stepfather sexually assaulted her as a teenager and her reluctance to tell her mother about it. He told me when she was out of town that he felt a lump in her breast and needed to feel my breast because he didn't want to upset her, but he needed to feel mine. Unfortunately, when she did reveal the information several years later, her mother didn't believe her and stayed with the man for an additional 18 years. I should never have protected her. I should have protected myself. She prefaced the story by saying that she wanted to share this insight into her past because she hoped that other young girls wouldn't be silenced if the same thing were happening to them today. 
Adding to her list of advocacy campaigns, DeGeneres and her wife also followed a vegan lifestyle for nearly a decade and are major proponents of animal rights. But just in the last year or two, uh, for no reason really, I just started eating a piece of fish once in a while and I'll eat eggs from chickens that I know. Her show's website even had a section called Going Vegan with Ellen, and PETA deemed her their Woman of the Year in 2009. She's also worked as a special envoy for global AIDS awareness, along with championing a number of other causes. Today, Ellen is undisputably one of the most influential entertainers in the world, with massive followings on a variety of social media platforms. According to Forbes, she's also the 22nd highest paid entertainer in the world as of 2019, which is an accomplishment that 20 years ago would seem impossible for an out gay woman. Ellen has become a beacon for the gay community, and we know she'll only continue to do more with each passing year. Isn't that the point to be able to do nothing at all? But we're not guaranteed that later on chunk of time. All we have is here and now, and that's why procrastination feels so right. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.